All the videos that I've been doing on my YouTube channel are somewhat based on experience. Things that I've uh, gone through while building my business, mistakes I've made, things that have worked well for me. So everything that I do is based on my own experience because I want to help you uh, save time and really do what you know I feel is working um, the best. And this video, I think, is going to be quite short, but it, I wanted to touch base on um, growing organically versus paying for Facebook ads. And I want to talk about my personal experience of wasting 5K, so $5,000 uh, in Facebook ads when I started my business and why it didn't work for me. Uh, so I want to make sure that you understand that I am not saying that Facebook ads don't work. I'm saying that for this particular case and when I decided to use Facebook ads, it just didn't help me grow at all. This is Chris from KVM Design, an online firm that supports interior designers worldwide with their workload. By delegating to our team, designers are able to free up some of their time to work on nailing their deadlines. Uh, they can nurture their clients and improve their services, their business. Um, they can work on strategies to so work more on their business rather than in it. And then as a result, they can scale their business because they have more time to be a CEO uh, and they don't have to do everything in their business. Uh, they can there are side worries in my building, so I hope you can't hear any of it. Uh, if you do, I'm sorry, I can't do anything about it, and I have to get this video done. Uh, so yes, I just want to talk to you about some of the few reasons why Facebook ads didn't work. So in 2017, when I decided to start my online business, I hired a marketing company based in New York to help me build everything I needed. Uh, so sales funnels, uh, email marketing, everything that you need to get started online. And they basically recommended that I should spend around um, $1,500 per month in Facebook ads to reach my target, I, like my ideal client basically. And later on, I did my own research much better than I had the first time because I just trusted that they knew what they were telling me. I also interviewed a Facebook ads expert uh, and the advice that she gave me was pretty different. The reason why that I decided to spend money on Facebook ads uh, right at the beginning is because I was very confused as to how and where I would be finding my clients. I kind of had an idea of who my ideal client was, who I was targeting, uh, and I just didn't know what I was supposed to do every day. And I think that's the main problem is thinking that if you pay, then you will get you will get clients. You can just sit back, relax, keep on traveling, and you will get the clients. And it's not the way that it works. You need to put in the work. You need to understand who you're serving, uh, who you're trying to help, and what you can bring to the table that will show them that you know what you're talking about. So I think number one reason is because when you get started online, uh, online or even you know with the local business, once when you start a business you need to understand your ideal clients. You need to share valuable content that will speak to them. And if you have very little content and you just start doing ads, then they're not gonna find anything, um, whether it's on Instagram or Facebook or LinkedIn, they're not gonna find anything that will speak to them or not much at least. Number two, because you haven't spent the time sharing anything and trying to talk to them, you're not gonna be able to talk to their pain points, their struggles. So you don't really understand who uh, you're targeting. You don't really understand who your ideal client is until you understand what the problem is. And because you're trying to be the solution, you need to understand what their struggles are. The third reason is that when you grow organically, you're not gonna get 50 clients on the same day. Uh, so because you're growing slowly, you're able to serve your ideal client as best as you can. And if imagine that the Facebook ads work and you get tons of clients, you're, because you're not even clear about who your ideal client is, you're not gonna be able to serve them because you won't be clear about what they need. Your service is not gonna match their expectations and you're not gonna be able to deliver because you're gonna to get too many people uh, for, your, you know, for the hours of your day that you have to help them. For me, starting a business means spending the time to understand who you're really trying to talk to. Uh, you know, it's great if you start from a place where you already have a lot of contacts, you know, you just have to network, maybe you worked for a firm and then you started your own and you have a lot of people uh, that will be willing to work with you in the beginning. 
But if it's not the case, if, if like me, you're trying to start from scratch, you're going to have to be prepared to spend months, weeks, years, almost earning nothing, uh, because you need to put in the work of trying to understand really who your ideal client is, what their pain points are, and how you are the solution that they're looking for. I spent years and I'm still spending all, almost all my time trying to refine my offer, understand, and, I, and speak to my clients. I, I speak to them regularly because I want to know um, if there's something new that I can help them with because it helps me improve my existing services, it helps me bring to the table new services that I know that they need. Um, and, and it's really important to create this contact with your clients. I've managed to grow organically uh, from zero to 10K. Now I'm at this stage where I technically am, you know, I should be spending a little bit of money on ads. I'm gonna start very slowly because I really do believe that you can do a lot organically. But if I were to start running ads, it's because now after two plus years, I know exactly who I'm talking to. I know my ideal client. I could really write down a detailed profile of who they are, what they like, uh, how old they are, if they have kids, if they're married. So this is really gonna help me um, start doing ads, knowing who I'm talking to and what they want from me. Running ads, I feel like kind of detached from my clients. I am not directly, or clients or prospects, I'm not directly talking to them. So I need to make sure that my message corresponds to what, what they need. So if I were to do that now all over again, I would never do that uh, at the beginning uh, because I needed that time to understand who I was serving. And one of the big reasons why it didn't work is because the ideal client who I thought I was serving back then is completely different to, to my ideal client right now. Uh, so definitely spending the time to understand who you're talking to is key and you can only do so if you're gonna be talking to people and you're gonna start getting one client, two clients, three clients, and slowly you'll, you'll be able to create a profile, like see similarities between them and create a profile of who you're trying to help. So when I talked to Sarah, who is a Facebook ad expert, she did say that she doesn't recommend uh, people using ads when they first get started, uh, that Facebook ads are fantastic. If you have a solid business, you have a solid offer, a business that's making good money, that has clients, uh, because people who are gonna see your Facebook ads, um, if your messaging is right, they will, they will be able to see testimonials, they will be able to see content that speaks to them, uh, so this is definitely going to help you. Another thing that she told me is that you should always start running ads on the platform that has been working for you organically. Uh, so Facebook and Instagram now are, I mean, they're the same company, right? But you can decide if you want the ads to run um, just on Facebook, just on Instagram, or both platforms. She said that when you get started with ads, it's great to run ads on both platforms because you're gonna be able to compare. So you can assess the results after a month or two maybe, and you can see where the ads are uh, getting the best results. So yeah, that was a short video to tell you about my ex experience with Facebook ads, whether it's Facebook, I guess, the budget that you need for Facebook ads is a lot higher than Instagram ads because you can uh, promote a post for a very small budget on Instagram and it's not the case for Facebook. What the marketing company had told me is that you need to put in considerable, considerable amounts of money on Facebook to start to see results. Uh, and that's why I spent 5K and you know, after that I decided, you know what, I'm gonna spend all my savings on this and I'm not sure uh, this is working for me. I hope this video was helpful. As I said, my recommendation if you're starting your own business is to start organically because it's gonna help you understand who you're serving, what they need, what their problems are, what their pain points are, and how you are the solution to their pain points. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe for more videos about uh, business growth and uh, delegating. See you in the next video.